A number of years ago, Lionel added Bluetooth control to their locomotives. Not just their high-end legacy Envision Line locomotives, but all their locomotives. So even their entry-level sets like Lion Chief or this Lion Chief Plus 2.0 ET44 Union Pacific have Bluetooth control in them. In today's video, we're going to go over how you get started using Bluetooth control in your locomotives and some of the pros and cons of using this control system over Legacy or TMCC. Hey guys, welcome back to Arts Model Trains. So today we're going to dive into controlling your Lionel locomotives with Bluetooth. So I have my son here to help us out. Um, but the first like kind of steps you need to take um, when doing this is A, make sure you have a locomotive that has Bluetooth in it. Most of the locomotives over the last, I would say 15 years have Bluetooth. And again, this is even including some of the Lion Chief and startup sets. This is a Lion Chief Plus 2.0 locomotive. Um, this is a legacy locomotive in the background. They just happen to be diesels, but this is also available in steam locomotives as well. So we're just gonna use these since they're on the main line and they're easy to get to. Okay, you have a locomotive with Bluetooth. What's the next thing you need? You need the app. So this is the Cab 3 Lionel app. I know the Cab 3 app was designed for the base three, but it does have a Bluetooth side and we'll go over why this app and the Bluetooth side is much better than the Lion Chief app. So you need to download this. It's available on both uh, Apple and Android. So free to get, easy to do. Check. The third thing you will need is track with 18 volts of power. If you got a startup set or a starter set, you got your loop of track and your DC power wart, you can use that. If you have a layout, you can use a transformer, power uh, brick, anything like that. And you apply track power. So let me get some power to the track. My son is gonna walk us through how you search and connect to a locomotive and get started. All right, take it away, we have track power now. So now you have the app, but it's just blank like this. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna click this button, it says tap here. You're gonna see, there might be a couple of engines here already, but if your engine isn't there, this isn't there, I wanna click this magnifier glass right there. So the magnifier is a search. It will look for any locomotive that's receiving power that has Bluetooth on. Um, and one key thing to point out is, and we'll take a photo of this and show it, inside most of these locomotives, again, there's hatches that pop off of these, there is a Bluetooth switch. So when you get the Bluetooth locomotive, you do need to make sure that switch is turned on because if it's in the off position, obviously Bluetooth will not be available. Take it away. You got the locomotive up. How do you connect to it? All right. So now you have the locomotive and there's going to be- Start with the UP one. Th these things right here. And you're going to click these arrows until you find your engine right here. This match. You're going to want to click this. It's going to link it. It's a, it's a link button. It looks like a chain. And you're going to click the home button. And now you're into the menu and you can do all this stuff. So you can then, once you click the home button, go back and control the locomotive. But the advantage of this app over the original Line Chief app is he could now connect another Bluetooth uh, locomotive without disconnecting from this original one. In the Line Chief app, you could only control one locomotive at a time. This app will let you control, I believe it's up to three locomotives at once. So once you go ahead and grab the uh, shark nose in the background through the same process, click the tap so here button click this button it's going to be numbers because you're already connected it's just going to be the same number that's on the road number engine. that's on that locomotive yep but then you're going to want to move around until you find so you scroll through till you see your locomotive and this again one. you click the link button and you can see that pair of locomotives started up in the background and when he goes home using the arrow keys at the top he'll be able to navigate back and forth and control both locomotives without having to disconnect the other advantage of this app over actually using legacy or cab one uh, system is these pair of uh, AA locomotives, I actually have to lash up as a train on my cab uh, two base three uh, system to run them together. When you address the lead engine in Bluetooth, it actually automatically creates the pair so that you don't have to worry about addressing both in Bluetooth and keeping them in sync. Really cool. All right, take us through how you uh, use the horn, the bell, and anything else on the main screen there. So here we have the bell. 
the horn. And the icons are all pretty self-explanatory. Crew talk. And again, with just the Bluetooth app versus the legacy remote or the Cab One remote, you can't trigger Crew Talk and Cab Talk individually. When you click it, it will start with Crew Talk and then have a Cab. Uh, excuse me, it will start with Crew Talk and then have the Towercom uh, respond to it. There's rear and um, front front couplers. So you again, you can control your electric couplers, change direction of the locomotive, and obviously the speed of the locomotive, and it does have a speed step counter in there. And all the way at the bottom, there's voice control. So for locomotives that have voice control enabled, you can use the app to control the locomotive via voice control. I've toyed around with that a little bit. It's, you have to know the exact phrases to say, so it's, it's not as intuitive as, if you, as you think. One advantage too, you could see, hold that app back up again. At the bottom of the app, it will show you, this one says Lion Chief Plus 2.0 because it's linked to this engine. If he uses the arrows and goes to the shark nose, it changes to saying Legacy. So the Bluetooth app knows whether it's connecting to a Legacy app or a Lion Chief Plus 2.0 locomotive. Now I just dropped my tablet. Okay, so why don't you pull this engine out and show us how to control it? So this is gonna be this bar on the side. So, so take note of the fact that there is a kill button right there. It only kills the engine, not the track power. Unlike the capture remote, that kills everything. There's also a little speed step up here, but you just move this little thing. And again, this is Line Chief Plus 2.0, so the speed steps are not legacy. That's fine. This is also pretty self-explanatory. The higher up you go, the faster the engine will go. Very good, cool. All right, now, why don't we dive into some of the advanced features of the app? But these two locomotives don't have five horns and five bells. Some of the newer locomotives, obviously, the Lionel has been putting out do. So let me put one of those on the track and we'll go through some of those advanced features. And you can actually control all of that through the Bluetooth app. You don't need a fancy uh, controller to do that. Okay, so with us now on the track is actually a custom run from Mecca. This is a Panama Canal Railway uh, SD40, I believe. A uh, very cool locomotive. Um, they still have some of these. And as you can see, my son searched in the app and easily connected to that locomotive. It is set up for Bluetooth. The switch is on. All right, so a couple of hidden features in this app that are not as intuitive as you would think. When looking at the home screen, you can see the basic controls, but if you want to control that five uh, bells and whistles like we talked about before, you actually have to swipe left to right. That is, there's no indication that you have to do that. You have to know to do that. But what's really nice is across the top, it gives you one through five for the bells and whistles. It gives you volume control for the master volume and all the individual things like the whistle, the crew talk, the background noise, and as well as your control for speed is always there on the right hand side of the screen. So you can make these adjustments while the locomotive is running and not have to stop the locomotive to change the bell, whistle, and crew talk volumes uh, or pitch. So why don't you try a couple different horns for us? So the number four. Just if you actually tap the number, it will play a brief sound for you. So you can see he went very quickly, but you can see the difference in a number of those whistles. Okay, let's go back to the home screen. So the other hidden feature on here is if you swipe up from the bottom. So if you take that logo I was talking about before, the Lion Chief logo or the Legacy logo, put your finger on that and swipe up, you will get the control for momentum and you'll be able to put a speed limit on a locomotive and turn on and off the smoke unit. So again, there's no smoke fluid in this uh, unit because it's on loan but you would be able to turn the smoke unit on and off. Again, set the momentum, high, medium, and low, and a speed limit if you needed to do that. Again, your speed slider is on the right-hand side, so you can do all of this while the train is running and you're controlling it on the track. As you can see, guys, this is a free, simple to set up and easy to use app if you wanna start running trains and are getting into the model trains community. Lionel trains. Bluetooth is not available on MTH or Atlas, so just make sure you pick up a Lionel locomotive. So with that, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Thanks, everybody.